I remember many times talking to people that were looking forward to retirement. What they're really looking forward to is freedom, to do what they want, when they want to do it. I can remember people that were looking forward to vacations. Well, what they really wanted was freedom to do what they want when they wanted to do it. When we're praying for abundance in our lives, really we're praying for freedom to do what we want when we want to do it. I pray that you are released from every limitation for Christ within you is your true freedom before retirement and before vacation today I pray for that and though in the past maybe even this morning you have felt bound by conditions or circumstances you now declare your freedom from the weight and the worry of anything that seemed to bind you up you perceive the challenges facing you in their true light. They are impelling you to use your skills and your intellect in ways that will nurture the fullness of divine order. You bless these challenges, rejoicing that through Christ in you, you are capable of meeting every one. You experience a new sense of liberation and you welcome all before you with God-given confidence. You know that there is only one presence and one power in your life and that is God the good. And you know that throughout the ages God has brought God's children out of the shadows of limitation into the full glory of freedom. To be a spiritual person means to live in freedom. To not be bound by the appearances and the circumstances. To know the freedom where you are right now. You praise God for putting within you the Christ Spirit. For awakening you to a renewed sense of love for life and for setting you free. In Galatians 5 verse 1 it says, For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand fast therefore. Well, stand fast therefore and know that you're a free woman. You're a free man today. You're released from every limitation. For Christ within you is your true freedom. And you feel that sense of freedom now. And that sense of not being bound or trapped. God bless you.